so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! It's me, Blippi, and I was just hanging out in this cardboard box. Check it out! It's like a bird! Whee! <laughs> oh, I have so many cardboard boxes around here. What are we to do with them? Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we take a few of these cardboard boxes and make something out of them? <laughs> this is going to be fun! Oh! Hey! How are you doing? <laughs> I'm just making a rocket ship out of these cardboard boxes. <laughs> I am using these scissors nice and safely to cut a giant window out of it. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> wow. Ooh, now I can sit inside it later. <laughs> then we can explore outer space. I am so excited. Okay, here we go. So, now that I have my window, I can then put the cardboard box, well, used to be a box, now it's a rocket ship, up. And do you see this? This is a square. Yeah, but we actually need to make it a triangle. <laughs> so, let's take our scissors. Yep. With your parents' grown-up supervision, you can cut this nice and carefully. Okay, one side is done. And now we need to do the other side. Here we go. Look at that. It used to be a square, but now it's a triangle. <laughs> okay, now we need some tape to then tape it to make the top of the rocket ship. Okay, here we go. Let's grab the tape, pull off a big piece of tape. Whoa! Alright, let's give it a little slice. Okay, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, put that there. I love making things out of cardboard boxes. You can make so many things. Today we're making a rocket ship, but one time I made a monster truck, another time I made a dolphin, <laughs> and I named that dolphin, uh, what was that name? I think it was Dolphy. <laughs> well, well, sometimes the tape gets stuck, but that's okay, we got it. Alright, there we go, give it a little slice. Then, tape up the other side. Wow, here we go. I am so excited to go into outer space. Have you ever seen the stars at night? Yeah, they're so bright. <laughs> and the moon? I love the moon. Have you noticed that the moon sometimes is a full moon? Yeah, sometimes it's a half moon, and sometimes it's a new moon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's uh, give this a little twist. Now it's time to design our rocket ship. I am so excited. This is one of my favorite parts. So the first step to design is to have a plan. So let's take this white piece of paper right here and let's draw the rocket ship. So the first thing you need to do is plan. Plan how the rocket ship is going to look. So let's draw the rocket ship. So we have a trapezoid over here. And then we have a big rectangle for the body of the rocket ship. And then we have a triangle for the cone of the rocket ship. And obviously, I want a lot of color. So first, Let's take some orange. Perfect. I love orange. And then let's take some blue. So let's color it in. 
I have a plan. I'm gonna use colored paper for that. So I'm actually gonna use this black marker to symbolize that these are pieces of paper. And we will do that later. All right. Oh, whoa, there's a lot of stars here. So let's actually, you know, make some stars right here. Yeah. Yeah, I love stars because you see them at nighttime when you look up in the sky and they twinkle. Yeah, kind of like twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> you know that song. I like that song too. Ooh, and yellow? Yeah, that's a beautiful color. Wow, our rocket ship is looking so good. All right, I think I have a really good idea. Let's take the color red, because it's nice and bright, and spell my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Perfect. All right, so that is the plan. Oh, huh. looks like this triangle, the top of the rocket ship. Yeah, we could color it. How about we color it? Yeah. Blue. I like blue. And we actually have a lot of blue paint on the here, so we can actually just use blue paint for this part. Wow. Perfect. Whoa. I think if we can make this rocket ship in real life, it's going to be so good. All right, here we go. All right, like I said, first thing we have to do is use the blue and orange colored paper to put on the side just like this. So let's take the glue stick. Yeah. Yep. Put a lot of glue right on the backs. Just like that. Okay. There's two pieces. Okay. There's one. And here's the second piece. There's one, two pieces of paper, and we got to do two more, yeah, which will make one, two, three, four pieces of paper. I'm going to put the glue on them right over here. Okay, now we have four pieces, one, two, three, four. So let me finish the rest, and then we'll see how many we have in total after I'm all done, all right? Whoa! Look! <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> well, sometimes if things fall apart, you just have to fix them. Okay, here we go. And after we fix this, then we can count all of the colors. So, let's take our tape. All right, now the rocket booster is all fixed. Yep, there we go. Okay, now let's count all of the colored pieces. Yeah, the blue and the orange pieces. Those are my two favorite colors. Okay, there's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of paper. <laughs> Good job. Okay, what else did we have on our piece of paper over here of our initial plans of our rocket ship to go to outer space? We had stars. Yeah, remember? We had yellow stars. Yellow star. Another yellow star. Wow. They're so bright and they twinkle just like the real thing. <laughs> okay, and let's put some blue stars on there. 
Can you think of anything that's the color blue? <laughs> My shirt. What about the big, vast blue ocean? <laughs> yeah. Here's another blue star. There we go. What about a purple star? Yeah. I like the color purple. Right there. And last but not least, another purple star. Right there. Perfect. That looks so cool! <laughs> Alright. So, as you remember, we have to spell my name on it, because that's what was on the plans. But, before we do that, let's do the top of the rocket ship. Remember what color I said I was going to paint it? Yeah! The color blue! Okay, let's take some blue paint, and <laughs> my painter's palette. <laughs> I'm an artist! <laughs> And let's take a paintbrush. Ooh, I love painting. <laughs> okay, and let's squeeze some blue paint right on top. Whoa! 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 <laughs> That's so much fun. Okay, let's give it a little dab. Let's do some painting. Miss me. Miss me. Go. Wow, this is such a pretty blue. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Have you ever used paints before? They're so fun. You can use a paintbrush and you can even use your fingers sometimes. We won't do that today, but that art technique is called finger painting. <laughs> There we go. How does that look? Do you like that? Yeah, I do too. Okay, let's put this away. We need to stay nice and clean and organized. There we go. And remember the last thing we needed to do? We needed to spell someone's name. Oh yeah, my name, Blippi. Will you spell it with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. And do you remember what color? Yeah, the color red. Okay, so let's use a new paintbrush. Yep. And then we need to make sure we don't mix the red and the blue because then it won't be red anymore and it won't be blue. Do you know what color you get when you mix blue and red? Yep, purple! But we're gonna keep them separate. <laughs> so, let's take this cap off. Oh, there is so much paint in here. And I like to use a lot of paint. Whoa! There we go! Whee! <laughs> wow, a little bit more. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay, let's, uh,. Before we paint it, we should probably lay it down sideways because we need to write my name, which is sideways. Yeah, there we go, like that. That's how we write, sideways. Okay, let's take our paintbrush and let's put the letter B right here. Now that we have the letter B, the second letter is the letter L. Yeah, just like that. The third letter is an I. Ready? Okay, there we go. B L I. <laughs> you know the next letter. A P, yeah. B L I P. B L I P P. Yeah, here we go. Alright, one last letter. 
B L I P P I. Blippy. Good job. <laughs> there we go. We just completed the rocket ship. So now we gotta get inside. Oh no! Do you see what I did? <laughs> we are so silly! <laughs> Check this out. The window is right there. Yeah! That means we have to twist it this way. See? And now, my name is upside down! <laughs> That's okay though. We're gonna fly through outer space in this new cardboard rocket ship. I am so excited. What? My name being upside down. <laughs> so silly. Are you ready? <laughs> because I sure am. Here we go! building the rocket ship with me. Now that we're in outer space, I think we should explore our solar system and learn all about it. All right, here we go. Whoa! 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 Look at that. That is our sun, and its name is called the sun. <laughs> How original. Our sun provides all the light in our solar system. And that light takes eight minutes to go from the sun to our planet Earth. And the sun is so big, there's 1.3 million Earths that can fit inside of it. Whoa! That's a lot of Earths. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Outer space is so much fun! Oh, look at that planet. That planet is Mercury. Wow, that planet is really rocky. And it, there's so many craters on it. And it actually, since it's the closest planet to the sun, one rotation around the sun is super fast. It's only about 88 days on Earth. <laughs> Mercury is awesome. Look at that planet! That planet is the planet Venus. And it is so hot! It's the hottest planet! Woo! It's getting hot in here! <laughs> the planet has so many volcanoes on it! And it's actually really bright. If you look up in the sky from our planet Earth, you can actually see it without a telescope! Wow! <laughs> here we go! Whoa! where you and I live. Wow, what a beautiful planet. There's so much water there, and then there's a lot of trees and mountains. Whoa, and our planet Earth, yeah, we have one moon. Let's head there now. sent robots and rovers to Mars. That is awesome. Us humans have yet to land on Mars ourselves, but maybe someday soon, maybe you'll be the astronaut. Yeah, here we go. That's our planet Jupiter. It's the biggest planet in our solar system. And do you see that big red dot? That is a storm. 
Whoa, that's a big storm. And Jupiter actually has 79 moons. <gasps> that's crazy. Whoa! <laughs> Is our planet Saturn. Whoa, what are those? Those are Saturn's rings. Wow, there's so much dust, ice, and rocks that form those to make up those rings. Wow, what a cool looking planet. All right, Saturn, see you later. Bye bye. Uranus. Yeah, what a cool planet. Wow, it's kind of blue looking, huh? Yeah, that's because there's so much ice on it. It's known as the Big Ice Planet. Whoa, it has 13 rings and 27 moons. All right, see you later, Uranus. Bye-bye. <laughs> planet is the planet Neptune. It's so dark, cold, and windy on that planet. Oh, let's get out of here. The last planet of our solar system. Look at it. It's really small. That is Pluto. It's so small, it's a dwarf planet. Wow, and it's really cold. I love Pluto. <laughs> it's really chilly out here, though. Let's turn around and count all of the planets, shall we? learning about all of the planets in our solar system together. Hey, I think we should count all of them. Okay, the sun isn't a planet, so let's count the planets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh w w wait a second. Eight, nine? Who knows? Some people say Pluto's not a planet, but I don't know. It's all up in the air right now. Well, or outer space. <laughs> so silly. Eight or nine. We'll keep it at that. Okay, now let's name the planets. Ready? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Wow! Good job! All right, well, I should probably get going now. Maybe we'll go and explore another solar system someday. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. Whoa.